Oh, look, your phone is up there too. I'm telling you, I, uh, I, I'm pure professional when it comes to this stuff. <laughs> We're so professional. We've never done it before. Hey guys, we should be live now. Uh, can you guys, are we coming in loud and clear? I got the chat going. Let's see if everything is going well. So this is, uh, uh, well, welcome to the, the uh, Crazy Crafter live stream. This is the, the first live stream we've ever done. I don't know if you can tell that, but clearly we know exactly what we're doing. <laughs> uh, let's see here. We're, we're on, we'll be on a little bit of a delay, but hopefully this is this is coming in. Uh, can you guys? You should be able to see uh, both Chris and I uh, on the screen, and then also you should be able to see the crafting uh, station over here for me. You should be able to see what Chris is working on and what I'm working on too. Let me know if you guys can see it. Holler at me in the chat there and let me know if it's working. Let's see. Oh man, welcome. There's a bunch of folks. Nat One Videos is here. Uh, let's see. Everyone should be here. Let's see real quick. All right. Awesome. It looks like. Um, we are working. So from that, I, we'll uh, get going here. So every every week, I'm hoping, in addition to the videos that I'm releasing um, on uh, on YouTube, um, the little uh, comedic vignettes on crafting, I'm hoping to do a series of these uh, live streams. And one of the goals and purpose of the live streams is to again bring our community our community together and uh, just the ability to connect with each other. This is harsh times right now, uh, especially if you're in California, which is where Chris and I are. And we are like, we can't even go outside right now without being covered with ash. Uh, it's, it's nuts. Uh, but this, this is a, a unique opportunity um, to, uh, to connect with one another. So if you've got, uh, I'm interested in your builds. Uh, I'm interested in whatever crafting, uh, problems or solutions you're working on. I'm interested in your ideas. So bring them, bring them to the live stream, uh, every week. We'll take an hour. We'll see what we can build in an hour and work on. And then we'll go from there. Uh, this week, uh, I've got an awesome guest. Uh, it's a good buddy of mine. Um, uh, Chris Fort, who he's a man of many talents. Uh, he's, he runs uh might and magic, uh, brand on, uh, it's an Etsy store. He also runs, uh, 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 his own clothing company called Habilis. Uh, it's an outdoor uh, uh, themed uh, clothing company. But uh, Chris, tell us a little bit about yourself, man. Where do I begin? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, Habilis is my day job and was kind of born out of uh, I've been a graphic designer for, Jesus, over 20 years now. Yep. Uh, almost entirely focused in clothing uh, in Los Angeles. And just decided to quit my job, get kind of prep up for uh, our daughter that we were going to have uh, about four years ago. And I'd always wanted to do <clears throat> my own thing, so I did. And uh, that would be Havilis. And it's all focused on national parks and beaches and mountains. And uh, yep. and then uh, and then Might and Magic is... <laughs> We, you know, uh, I was complaining that I wanted to play D and D about a year and a half ago, yep. or so, or actually it was longer than that. It was probably over two years ago, but had nobody to play with. And um, after enough complaining to Colin, he finally enlisted a bunch of his friends, and we got a campaign going, be going on about a year and a half. And yep. we've all clearly dove in uh, head first on this, <laughs> um, and I just decided that. I didn't like any of the D and D shirts out there, so I was gonna make my own. And uh, it's a much smaller, yeah. That that shirt right there, Colin is wearing, is one of them, the Camaro. Yeah. It's yep. it's a smaller venture. It's it's definitely more of um, of a hobby for me, and just kind of fun as opposed to Habilis, which is like an actual job. Right. But, uh, yeah. So that's kind of what I do, and then paint with Colin and and talk crap about our 
kids and uh yeah yeah and the campaign a lot of it revolves around our campaign too yeah 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 Yeah. well it's awesome having you here man uh I'm, i'm excited that you get to join so a lot of my uh you know, when I first started in mini painting, I'd never painted a mini before in my life, like a year, like a year and a half ago. I think we had like two sessions of our campaigns, uh, of our campaign, and we all like went to Hero Forge and we're like built our own stuff. And like yeah. within within February of 2019, like we were we were off and running. Um, yeah. So uh, a lot of what I've learned, uh, paint wise for for miniature, was shared with uh, Chris. Chris has shared a lot of that information with me. And then, uh, yeah, I, 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 I started just building terrain. I think it was after I ran, uh, one of my, the one shots when I DM'd and I was trying to find maps for everything. And I was like, man, what do I want to do? Like, like I printed out some stuff and it was cool, man. Like we had a battle mat and it was awesome. But then I was just like, I was like, Oh, maybe I'll buy something. And then I bought like a bridge and it was like, super expensive and i was like this sucks i was like i can't buy this stuff and then i think it was i don't know i think it was like you and richard and like uh, several people like you know there's an entire community that's like devoted to building tabletop terrain and i was like what and then thus like went down the rabbit hole and and uh now now we are like but now i've got you building terrain so you what do you what do you got there what do you got in front of you what are you working on there um uh, well you i know you are quite aware yes. uh this let's see if i can get this actually in the shot yep, right here. show it closer that's dope there you go um this is a little forge and actually it totally inspired by colin uh for our was it our one year anniversary of the campaign correct yeah uh colin decided to build little dioramas for all the people in the in the campaign yep for our minis um using inspiration from the campaign and from real life and they just i mean we put a lot of work into those and they were, they were super awesome and uh, at the time <clears throat> i remember getting them and seeing them and, and and thinking that clearly you needed one as well and <laughs> uh it's something that i finally got working on uh, a few months ago something like that a couple months ago it's mm-hmm. been a slow process for me i got a bunch of stuff going on but uh i figured i'd add a little detail to it today actually um small stuff just some some flocking and and grass around the outside and just kind of uh touch up on on this little weapon stand here you can kind of see that i found this like random plastic piece that looked like a great two-handed sword i might mess with today i don't know i don't know what i'm gonna do colin i uh, did not prepare well for this <laughs> you don't i also to, you don't need to prep very well for this like we're 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 trying this out for the first time i also have this guy which i was considering painting today this is that the holder that i've been working on oh yeah so so toxins what is that it's like bring that a little bit closer if you can yeah maybe it's easier to just do it here no that's not good because I have that stupid virtual background. I can do this. There we go. So that guy is one I completely destroyed by cutting off all the eye stalks. Super dope. And cut out some teeth. And, um, and then fashioned this like cloak out of tissue and PVA. And then let it harden and primed everything. Uh, it's looking pretty good, actually. It is much better good. than when it was not primed, that's for sure. So, um, and that was inspired by a place called Home Brewing on Instagram. Oh, they do good. a lot of homebrew stuff, and they did one called uh, Zol- Zol- Zolfer, the All Scene. Yeah. And I just I thought that was like the coolest thing ever, so I was like, I'm gonna make that. Yeah, that that that's turning out pretty good, man. I know you were you were playing around with that like the right material and like trying to like uh, though you didn't you just kind of like troubleshot that and built draped it over. It's looking even just primed up there. It's looking pretty gnarly, dude. Yeah, I thought about using green. Like I went online. I do every time I want to do something, I go online mm-hmm. and look, see what people are doing. Yep. And uh, there's obviously some phenomenal 
sculptors and painters and crafters. You can get anything you want out there to learn anything. And I thought I was going to do green stuff for the for the cloak, but I don't think I have the chops for sculpting that type of thing right now. I've never sculpted before, so I ran across this other video of a guy who, and I apologize, I don't remember the name right now, but um, mm. he just he just he was working on his Warhammer minis and crafted some cloaks and just I think he was using a paper towel. Um, and tissue and i was like all right well i can try that so i did and it worked so nice see how it goes nice um well today i, I kind of got inspired by um i was like thinking about like what i had also like we had to move i had to move my entire like studio inside here this morning which is one of the reasons we started a few minutes late but i was like man i, I want to kind of go off of the theme of uh, a few months ago black magic craft released a video about creating wood planks uh from uh what is it just cardstock so i've got i've got some old cardstock here right i got this old food box that i have and i'm he I, he did some interesting work with texture you played around with some of that chipboard a while back and you made wood planks out of that pretty dope and you drew on it um, and this, yeah, I just one, use the ballpoint pen. You yeah, can just you, draw. You just draw. You just drew on it, right? I've got what do I've got? I've got my. I've got the pencil here to try some of that. I've also got a wire brush. I'm gonna try to wire brush this stuff, um, and then see see what I can what I can do. I what, I don't know what I'm gonna build with it. Uh, <laughs> I think I'm gonna try to build like a house. We've got a, like 44 minutes now. So I'm gonna try to build a house in 45 minutes. I don't know if I can do that, but I'm gonna try. So, um, also, uh, let's see. We got a question here from Nat One Videos. Uh, uh, let's see. Saying also, uh, did Chris build the Zolther Beholder from scratch? Uh, how did you build it? No, he didn't build it. Go, what did you? Yeah, yeah. You it's, one, it's the the Nolzer's, uh Beholder, and uh, it's one. I mean, that's I think probably the most popular one out there i love it it's really cool it's a great looking sculpt but i ended up taking that and literally clipping off all the eye stalks um so that i could fit the the cloak on i even had to clip off a couple of the what are those uh they're like horns or something there's like these yeah things sticking out of it yep um i chopped off a few teeth and then um I've also used, um, like I heat up basically a pen or a paper clip or any, like I actually use using, where is that thing? It's a sculpting tool. looks like this. I heated up the tip of this oh, thing nice. and you can really go in and create some texture and stuff with when it's hot. Like I get it going hot on the stove and just, I pushed into the spots where the teeth used to be, like the tooth had been ripped out, I put a scar down its eye. Um, because that's all part of the original art from home brewing and I wanted it to capture all of that. So okay. that's what I did. Nice. But yeah, the original one I believe is Nolzer's. I could actually double check that real quick. Sweet. Yeah, that's that's um you you you've messed around a couple with a couple of these beholders now and like he's upping his beholder game. Like he started off, he's like, I'm gonna do I'm not just gonna do like a normal beholder, it was like a magma beholder, and then the one of my favorite ones uh, is the undead beholder you did a while back. That was pretty dope. Yeah, that's probably my favorite one. I right like now. that one a lot. Um, yeah, it's a Nolzers, just to confirm that. A Nolzers, nice, nice. All right, well, I'm gonna try. Uh, I'm gonna try creating these strips here. See if I can mark these out. Jeremy was saying in the video, and uh, also if you if you haven't seen the video that uh, I'm working on, I posted the link in the description to our live stream. If you haven't checked out, I mean, I'm sure you all have. If you're watching this live stream, you've seen Black Magic Craft at some point. Uh, but definitely check out his channel, and the link to this video and that tutorial is in the description, so you guys can check it out. So this is cool. I I like I like the idea that you know of playing around with different texture. And different materials that I've never used so I'm gonna try this one out and see see how it goes so this is like 
he said to do larger strips, the half inch strips, so you can overlap when it comes later for the build. He's not worried so much about perfection with it, but just trying to create some strips and create a new texture. So, let's see what happens here. And also, as we're building here and we're going off, if you guys have any suggestions or ideas, again, leave it in the comment. This is going to be pretty cool. Yeah, Black Magic Craft Rules. Um, they're, I think uh, that's how everyone calling the story starts is, oh, so Black Magic Craft? Yeah, like, Did that's that seems to be kind of the the jumping off point, but there's tons of really good. Oh, for there, sure. There's like, Ard 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 that guy rules. Yeah. There's, there's a ton of really cool stuff out there. And I like, uh, I don't know, again, the community, right? That's all the folks that are joining us here. The community is a cool source of inspiration. Uh, the episode that I'm shooting this week, uh, or have been shooting this week that's been stopped because of fire. Um, is is pretty is inspired by stuff that I saw posted in the Tabletop Crafters Guild. So someone posted some stuff, and I was like, "Oh, I would build that with this," and tried that out. So it's pretty pretty cool. We'll see how that turns out. All right, so I've got a bunch of different strips. They're not all. I know Fort, you'll be shocked, but these all aren't exactly measured properly. So no way. Yeah, I know, right? It's crazy, right? Um. So I'm going to cut the couple of couple. Actually, here's what I'm going to try to do. I'm going to try this. Instead of cutting them out and then texturing them, I'm just going to try to... Oh, listen to that satisfying sound. So have you used your wire brush a lot for the wood stuff? I know uh -huh. you were... Doing that. Not really, because like you you remember early on, like I was like, oh man, I can. Well, first off, I bought a couple textured things from Shifting Lands, and those are really cool for like foam. It imprints, but then I always found myself going back and <laughs> having to retrace to get some deeper lines. Um, those um, those work really well. The rollers are cool. And like, there's videos on like buying rollers. There's videos on people making rollers, but drawing it, it's been pretty, pretty good too. The wire brush is only recent, man. I've only really started futzing around with it recently. Um, but I'm gonna have to show you guys this. This is kind of cool so far. I'm going kind of heavy on the wire brush in black magic crafts video. He used uh, the same sculpting tool that you were talking about earlier, Chris, for uh, for the beholder, and he created those lines. He said he didn't want to use an exacto knife, so I'm gonna kind of I'm gonna use an exacto knife because I'm like, well, I think it'll make some cool. I think it'll get some deeper cuts, like not all the time, but they're gonna be obviously real thin. They're gonna be thin. I don't know if I can make it thicker. Maybe I should try the Ulfa knife. I don't know. But the wire brush right now, check that, I don't know if you can see this. I'll have to, I'll bring it up so you guys can see it here. Um, but this so far is getting some pretty cool texture. I'm showing showing everyone in the chat right now. Um, oh, what's up, Daniel West? I see you, Daniel West. All right, so check this out, Chris. I don't know. It's going to be kind of hard to see. Yeah, no, I don't. I mean, uh, can you see? If I hit the, so I've I've hit here. I'm trying to. See, I have to bring it really close, but I don't know if you can do it justice. It's starting to scuff it though, and it's getting some good lines in here. That's on the chipboard. That's on the chipboard. So it's pretty good. I got to see if I like. I don't know if I can take a. I want to like upload a picture to the chat so y'all can see it better. But just know that it's. I think it's going to be enough to create some pretty cool texture. However, I am like. I am rocking it. <laughs> like, I'm rocking this thing pretty hard with the wire brush, so. Yeah, that chipboard might fall, start to fall apart with yeah, the wire brush. that's true. It's a thicker one. Uh, it's like a frozen... But I mean, it comes off in, like, chunks, right? Um, no, this one's pretty good. Uh, so think of, like, food cardstock from, like... This is from frozen fish. 
so <laughs> it's thicker. <laughs> so I don't know. I was originally going to use like like uh, the the fruit cereal bars that our kids like to munch on. I was going to use that, but I was like, that's tiny and thin. And if I wire brush that, I'm going to rip it in two. I'm cracking up right now because uh, I was watching uh, an episode of Alone last night. Yeah. And, you know, like, one of, I think one of the big things a lot of those people talk about is, like, kind of respecting the, the the resources and, like, especially, like, if they, like, you know, if they kill if they catch a fish, they want to utilize, like, they talk about, like, using as much of the of the fish as possible and they talk about like native people using like you know all of the resources off of an animal the skin the, the, the teeth the bones yep. the, not just yeah i'm laughing because you have that mentality but it's like with <laughs> modern people like you're like i use this plastic piece off of uh, my kid's fruit pouch yeah and I'm using this hard stock from a box of fish sticks or whatever <laughs> you gotta utilize you gotta respect the food, the food supply, and utilize all the resources available. That's right. You got to use it all. You got to use it all. Uh, let's see. Oh, so this is my first, first strip. Look at that. Oh Can't man, see it. it's um. Bump up the res. Yeah, I know, right? Like I have the thing that I've learned. Everyone is I am, I am. Uh, I need to up if like I mean for for a live stream setup with like. A little webcam and everything, it's it's not bad, but it's hard for you guys to see the detail on this. Uh, can you show – do you show it on your – Yeah, on I'm your showing screen. it here. So here's the first one that I've done. It's it's a few seconds delay, but I'll hold it up here. So this is kind of cool. Uh, it's – I don't know if you guys can see the texture. I'm trying to change the light angle, but it's definitely creating some recesses with the wire brush in that. Uh, hopefully you guys can – you can see and check that out. Um, let me know in the comments if you uh, what you guys think of it. Like, is it showing up at all for you? Or I wonder if I can get it a little closer. I'll try moving it up a little bit closer for you guys. Yeah, but it's definitely getting some texture in it, so that's kind of cool. Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Well, that's cool. Let me cut out a few more of these, and then I want to see. Man, what are we at? Like ten twenty seven? Oh man, thirty three minutes to build a house. Is it doable? Set go. <laughs> yeah, let's see if that if that worked. Oh yeah, this is thicker. Look at this. This stuff is way thicker. I have to cut a little bit deeper. Oh yeah. Keep your fingers clear. All right. Oh, yeah, that's kind of... Turn these into two-hour sessions, man. I know. We might have to. Well, we'll see. Like, we'll see what the people say. I'm down... You know me. I'll be like, uh, two hours? How about five? How about five hours? <laughs> that's, a, that's a good Sunday right there. Some people like to go to brunch. I like to drink coffee and craft on Sundays. So one of the cool things about our hobby uh, and this crazy passion that Chris and I have kind of started fostering, it's not only been fostered with us, it's been fostered with our children and they are pretty, pretty, uh, adv like they're pretty adamant painters at least and they're starting to craft as well. Although my son is starting to save trash and say i'm saving this for crafting to which where did you know, pick that idea yeah i don't know i don't know where you got that from uh but my wife is like really? Anybody who does that. really all right yeah that's yeah she cool. actually i told her we were doing this and she was like can i join you and i was like well and then she just like she's like can i help like can i can i like pick the paints that you use <laughs> yeah 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 that's like sure. Like absolutely, you can you can uh, pick the paints. Yeah, 
Well, I'll try to – so I'll definitely, guys, like if you guys um, – I, I see you guys talking about that texture and not being able to see it. The resolution not good enough. Um, yeah. I'll try. I'll try and you know futz around with it. I'll certainly post pictures um, in the Tabletop Crafters Guild once once I get this build done. But it's it's okay. So now that I kind of like cut a couple of strips, let me cut. Let me let me knock a couple. I want to like get enough strips so I can work with here. I think I'm gonna have to just like anything. It's like bricks. Or any wood planking that you do, you gotta like build a bunch of it so you have it ready to rock in the build. I think you can see. Can you see? Yeah, it's coming out. Let me this see. brighter green at least shows up a little bit. Oh, yeah, yeah. Is that. Did you just paint that on the bricks? No, that's blocking. That's blocking. Where's the green at? What do you mean? Where's the green at? Are you talking about the flock? Are you t are you showing me the flocking? Is that what you've 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 put yeah. up there? Nice. That's pretty dope. I like that. I'm just focusing on that right now. I like. I like it. Um. Okay. Let's try this. So now that I've got this texture, I want to try a couple. I want to see if I like. Can I get deeper? In can I get more texture? Is my question. Oh, snap. Yeah, that's the way to go with that, I think. I'm trying to get lines from the wire brush in here. Mm, I don't know if I'm going to get lines. I may have to go back and let me just draw it. Right? I wonder what it looks like if I draw it and, like, indent it. Yeah. So that's what these Sunday builds are going to be, guys. Like, some of it's going to be... I mean, a lot of it for me is just, like, what can I... What have I not done before? What do I want to play around with? That's what these Sunday builds are going to be kind of for. So... Here is, like I said, this is a video that inspired me months ago from from a Black Magic Crafts video, and I was like, man, I'm gonna mess around with that today. And I think that's what's, you know, cool about about the builds, like, because we've definitely, I've definitely had more stuff. I've had a lot of stuff fail, dude. One of the things this week that I'm working on, I I also am like working on texture with like a tissue, like I I used PVA and tissue this week. It did not go well. <laughs> like that, that build is is dying. What were you trying to do? Huh? What were you trying to do? Uh, I'm trying to use it to to make. I was trying to like create cloth like around a hut, basically, and I put way too much. the The thing that I was using to as the base was super. Like you need multiple layers, but then I put way too many layers. And that's why I texted you the other day and I like texted you the poop emoji because I was like, this is what I ended up with. Um, but I think I'm going to save it because the texture, while it won't look like cloth, it will look like ice or like rock. So I think I'm going to try to... Yeah, I saw a really cool build. So you remember what we did with the, the dice trays, right? And we like took the acetone and made kind of a circle and pressed it in. And if you didn't... If you didn't press in with the dice and you just did like a circle of acetone, it created like a concave circle shape, oh, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. On the dice trays. Somebody, I'm not really, sh I, I don't look at it enough, but um, somebody did a, an ice build and it was very reminiscent of that shape. And I was thinking like, if you took like a cotton ball or something that had acetone on it, it yeah. just created some like circular shapes. Uh, after that acetone, after that, after the foam finishes melting, uh, I think you would have a very kind of like ice cave feeling. Right, right. So that's something I had kind of wanted to, to try. To mess around with? That'd be cool. Yeah. Yeah, the acetone, the acetone one is pretty cool. Like I definitely, I definitely like like that uh you put your dice tray that you made up on your instagram right 
Yeah. Yeah, that's up a there. while ago. A while ago. Yeah, you guys have to scroll back, but if you go to Might and Magic Brand on Instagram, you'll find uh, a lot of Chris's really cool, cool uh, builds and projects that he does. Um, and one of them is he built a dice tray, and you can mess around with some of that acetone. And we like we busted out that acetone one day, and that was pretty dope. Uh, I, I really like the dice tray that he came up with so much so that that's what my son wants to build now. He's like, I want one like that. I'm like, you need more dice trays. You need more dice trays. I'm running out of... There we go. Good thing I've always got it here. Alright, well, I think I'm going to spend the rest of my time probably just base coating this, some of this beholder. Nice, do it. And we'll see how that works out, because I have no idea. Like, I have a general idea of how I want this thing to look, but... what? How many beholders have you painted now? Um, I guess this would be the fourth. Fourth? Okay. Yeah. Right, fourth beholder. So you are. I don't think that qualifies me as a professional yet. <laughs> <laughs> well, the work and the caliber is there. It looks super dope. There are fun, fun builds whenever you do the beholders. Uh, okay. Yeah, I have That's a big plan. Oh, speaking of, I won a giveaway. The folder is supposed to be showing up soon. Oh, nice. Oh, is that the one you tagged me in and then you got the beholder? Yes. That be I, Like I said, I think I said this before, but that half of that beholder belongs to me. So. Well, I've been cutting them apart, so I'll, I'll give you whatever. Oh, is, cool. Uh, I'll take it. Stuff. I'll totally take it. That's like a cool build. I bet you we could come up with something pretty cool with the spare beholder parts. That would be dope. All right. A full house build in 36 minutes hmm. or no. not 36 minutes less than that all right i'm gonna try i'm gonna try how are we doing in the chat everyone's doing doing good all right this is dope so i'm curious uh, for all the viewers out there like is there anything like have you built anything with like this type of cardstock before? Like what have you what have you tried building? Uh, have you used uh, something different besides the cardstock that you really like? Um, also, I know I've got some folks, at least one, I know Michael is UK based. I'm wondering if his XPS foam is like the blue XPS foam that like you can carve and like draw into. Uh, or is it is it the pink foam? That's my question. Do you guys have? Are you using the pink foam, the blue foam? Do you like the cardstock? What have you built with the cardstock? If you've used it, it's actually a lot of questions I just asked you. <laughs> and if it's the blue foam, you're gonna have to ask. Me some. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I definitely am gonna have to figure out how to get my hands on some of that stuff. That'd be cool. That would be cool. I use for my roof. Oh, nice. So you use the cardstock for the roof? Is that what you're saying, Michael? You use the uh, the cardstock to create the roof? Oh, and that's how you got the folded the folded shape. I think you were talking to me about. Kind of like that concave, you know, that kind of fantasy storybook look, Chris. If you haven't seen that, if you haven't checked out Nat One's videos, you got to check them out. He's the He's the dude. Yeah, he's the he's the gent that is. Uh, he's got a lot of really cool videos up, um, and he's been into heavy into wood woodworking and carving. So I saw the I saw the the, the, the shout out the mention. I just haven't gone to check it out. Yeah, you'll have to check, check it, out. it out. It's good stuff. It's good stuff. Pink twenty millimeters thick. Okay, cool. That's like three quarters of an inch. Yeah, yeah. So it is pink. He doesn't have the blue stuff. Damn it. Where's the blue stuff? 
And why don't we have it here? Yeah. Yeah, there's some some guys out there that have access to that material. Like I know, again, Black Magic Craft has had Gerard Boom from Shifting Lands, and like that dude is. There's some impressive people out there creating, creating some uh, carved carved texture into their XPS foam work. It's pretty cool. Uh, you, you should check out Ardnor Minis too. That guy does a phenomenal job. Yeah, Ardnor Minis. Ardnor. Uh, you know, there's a lot of people, those, a lot of those folks on Instagram, I'm finding a lot of folks in the community love drawing on their own texture and their own yeah. stone and brickwork. And it sure looks pretty gosh darn good. Yeah. All right. So I've got a slew of wood plates here. Let me see. I wonder if I can build like an outhouse, <laughs> like a little a little outhouse. I'm trying to think of something that I can like feasibly build. Fantasy porta potty. Uh huh. The fantasy porta potty. Yeah, the fantasy porta potty. <laughs> there was a guy. I don't know if you guys remember this, or I don't know if Jammy Jam. If you're, um, oh my goodness, Jammy Jam is talking about the acting and he's asking about the acting and fight directing too. I'll get into that in a second. Um, the um. Uh, oh, on the Tabletop Crafters Guild, someone, like, posted, they're like, I made some, like, doors, and they made, like, uh, these, like, stone doors, and they ended up, or they're, like, I guess they're, like, dungeon cells, but they're, like, they ended up looking like demon porta potties so he got, like, a bunch of comments, everyone was like, they look fine, and then he, like, went out in the driveway and squished them with his car, and, like, got rid of them, and everyone was like, why did you do that? They would look good. I didn't think they looked like demon porta potties. I thought they looked good. All right. So, Jammy Jam, uh, you want to know about uh, the acting and fight directing stuff. All right. Um, so, uh, that is my day job. Um, I, before the pandemic hit, um, I'm an actor uh, and I'm a fight director. Um, here here out in California so I primarily work in the theater and I you know fight direction so anything chore choreographic wise right anything that requires um, uh, actors to create the illusion of violence on stage right making non-dangerous actions appear or making non-violent actions appear dangerous and real so that's kind of that's that's the day job uh, my garage is currently full of awesome <laughs> props that haven't been sent out in seven months. Uh, I have a weapons rental company that I rent to uh, theater companies that, you know, will do a Shakespeare show, that will do uh, anything that requires requires um, a sword um, or a shield. I've got a bunch of different stuff. Um, if you guys are familiar, I'm not sure if you all are familiar with Queen Nguyen, uh, but Queen Nguyen is a playwright and he's an amazing playwright, one of the best American playwrights of the 21st century so far. And he wrote a show called uh, She Kills Monsters, and it's a Dungeons & Dragons show. Uh, it's amazeballs, and it's fantastic. So anyway, he wrote a new play, and it was commissioned out here at the Geffen Playhouse, which is a big playhouse here in L.A., and had some good friends that worked on the show. And they rented weapons from me for that. So I was super happy that uh, I got to rent weapons out for a West Coast premiere of Queen Nguyen's new show back but right before all this pandemic went down. So pretty cool. Uh, and, you know, uh, Jammy Jam, you're asking, like, tell more about that. Like, I get to play fight for a living. It's pretty amazing. I, I, have, to, I have to pinch myself sometimes that... I've been fighting with swords since I was a little boy, and now I get to keep doing it as an adult, as a career. Amazing. I'll take it. All right, so I'm cutting out all yeah, this cardboard. What were you saying, Chris? I said, yeah, that's not a bad life. Yeah, it's it's not bad. I, I enjoy it. I'm trying to like cut some of this cardboard out here. All right. Um, what do I need now? Is that what? Is there anything? Is there anything? I 
don't know if Daniel West is still on here, but Daniel West was uh, as a as a buddy from he was a student at one of the first workshops I ever taught at. It was like at that workshop. Oh, in addition to fight directing and acting, I also am a teacher as well. So I teach I teach. Uh, I'm a I'm what you would call a freeway flyer, adjunct part time professor, traveling all over the land, uh, teaching. I teach acting. I teach. Uh, uh, theater history. I teach stage combat. I uh, teach actors how how uh, to to do stage combat. So uh, Daniel was one of uh, one of my first students ever back in the day. So uh, that was the workshop where I was just like I hadn't thought about teaching until I did that workshop, and I was like, man, I really I really this is not a, this is not this does not suck. I could do this all the time. So if Daniel stood there, he was a big part of that, and that was a, that was a really fun workshop. Um, <laughs> I'm thinking back to like when uh, we first moved next door, Chris, and you told me yeah. you were like, like within a few weeks, there were like students in the backyard fighting with swords and shields and you were like looking at your window drinking coffee like what the, what is going on back there? <laughs> <laughs> like who just moved next door? Um, I was like, sweet. Free show. Free show. That's right. That's right, bro. But I do remember the first time that you ran that class, and like I was in my my back room drinking a coffee, and all I hear is ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> like banging metal. I was like, "What? The like, what's going F on? Is going on what's here? What's going on back there?" <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, can one in front of the camera, please? I can, right here. I can, most certainly can. I'm like, I'm like running out of space to like cut. I'm so sorry, Nat one. Like, I totally should be holding this out. Uh, now I'll keep keep this. Piece. He's a rookie. Give him some slack. It's true. It's true. He's he's not wrong. Uh, you'll have this is like that's why it's important to have have uh, folks and guides. So now I'm just gonna have my hands here and I'll model. Look at all the beautiful terrain I've created. All right, so first things first. Let's create. Can I do? That's a pretty tall out. That's like an outhouse for a giant. We're gonna cut a little bit of that off. <laughs> that's like the tallest outhouse ever, bro. Uh, Sometimes you just want some headroom. Yeah, I guess so, right? They, they just want some headroom. That's you know, that's not an. You know, in in the, in, in fantasy setting, the outhouse really needs to accommodate all races and I mean, sometimes you're gonna have athletes and sometimes you're gonna have goliaths that's so true. that's true you can't just build them for <laughs> white male humans it's true it's true but i right now i um, even this one like I, I have to like show you the height that i was planning on later like it was it was a little big it was two story <laughs> it was a little big this would have been like the Mercedes Benz of outhouses in the D and D world. It would have been so glorious. Okay, so I think I've got like a little shape here. Did I even cut that? That's a little off. Dang it. Cut a little more off. Buddy, how's it going over there with you? Uh, I need to figure out a better okay. way to hold this thing. Okay. I haven't like attached any sort of handle to it mm -hmm. and it sucks holding it by this little tiny thing. Okay. But I'm getting close to just getting the base coat on for nice for some of it. I think that's one thing I need to work on is planning out better like the paint scheme yeah because i kind of just wing a lot of it and it it'll work like as long as i have an end goal it tends to work but there's often times where i'm like yeah that's not working and i kind of have to like go over a bunch of it again right i feel like i could avoid that <laughs> step if i planned better right yeah i i sometimes <clears throat> I find myself with like builds and paint schemes like 
some things I have an idea for, but then others I'm like, I don't know. I kind of like, I'm kind of with a, a little bit of a wing it mentality too. Yeah. Uh, what do you guys, what do you guys like to prefer? Um, uh, like, do you, do you guys, I'm curious everyone out there that's watching, like, do you guys, like, how, how much do you plan your builds is my question. Like, do you, do you, yeah, I don't plan, like, plan when you plan. know, when I come over to your house, half the time I don't even know what I'm going to do. Yeah. When we sit down. Yep. Yep. It's, it's, it's kind of nice though. That's kind of the fun of the, cr of the, of the, uh, hobby though. Yeah. I like just kind of sitting down. And then the other part of it is, you know, problem solving, you know, what do I have encountered this or I want to achieve this? Like, just like you did with the, the beholder the other day, how do I, how do right. I, how do I make this, this cape, this cowl based just on this image? It's pretty cool. Um, yeah, we'll see. We'll see what everyone's in there. I can type it out too. So I'm right now I'm, I'm building out a bunch of these, trying to cut these planks down. I'm going to try to get at least one wall done. I don't know if I'm going to get the whole outhouse built right now, but, uh, I can at least get a, a side of it done. Yeah. We might have to make these like longer. <laughs> You're like, great. What just what I need yeah. more time. I mean, I like it. I do too. It's not. Nice. I'll be able to join. Oh, you'll join. What's your plan with these? Are you like? I feel like initially you talked about almost like turning it into a hangout. Like, yeah. Are you like wanting multiple people at a time to come in and and not? I mean, in essence, stream with you, or are you planning to have like sort of like one guest and then just like people can come and, and watch, or but a little bit of column A, a little bit of column B. Uh, uh, eventually, it would be dope. Just like we have you on Zoom, we could yeah. actually. I I I, I want to try it out with multiple people, right? Maybe right. that'll be the next step, um, but. I, I, it would be nice to have people like stop in, like talk about what their build is, share their build, show their build off. So not just what we're doing, right, or whoever it's like the whatever guest I have on, but I'm also interested in what other people are building, and whether or not they're like encountering a pro. Like, is it a is it a challenge that they're encountering in their build, or just saying like, hey, look at this dope thing that I'm building. You know what I mean? So like. Yep. If they join up, you know, I may I may put out like a list before before the the live stream. I may just do it, uh, you know, in the live stream where I'm like, hey guys, like who wants to join, and then send the Zoom link, you know, and then say join the thing, and right, join right. up and share the build. I'm interested in creating that, like, I, I think like creating the community. And yeah. creating that stronger base right now is more now even more important than ever because, like, we're not going anywhere anytime soon, and I feel like this this uh, this is a great way to connect with people in a time where where it's it's harder to do that. So we'll see. That's kind of my. Does that answer your question? That's like a lot. <laughs> so yes, I want to. No, like, I mean, I, I think out. the short answer is yes. Yeah, the, the short long answer, answer is, is sort of yes, and like all this other stuff too. This other stuff, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, what's up, glue wisps? Everywhere, all day long. Okay. Have you talked to, um, like, Richard or? Martin or um, Aaron or Joe, any of those guys. Joe, Joe has a set up now. He could probably do this. But yeah, I, I yeah. I'm totally down. Like I, you know, um, um, my new buddy uh, that reached out to me, uh, Nat One Videos. Right, you know, right. He, he's got. You guys were we're about definitely gonna we're something. definitely gonna collaborate on some stuff, and I'd love to get him on here. Uh, chat about hit. You know what he's been working on. Um, sure. and then like, you know, I definitely want to get Richard out there. I'll put this up in the video guys. Like if you're not familiar with, uh, RPG daily, 
our buddy Richard Quiner uh, has been running this channel for a while. He just hit 2,000 subs. Uh, I believe yeah. it was like yesterday or the day before on his channel. So congrats to Richard. I'll link. I'll link. Um, I'll definitely share that link with y'all so you can check out his channel. But you know, he's he's a great resource for all things D and D, especially for DMing. If you've ever had any doubts or questions or fears or trepidations of DMing, like that's why he built this channel. He built this channel so he you know he could inspire other other folks to create their own world and he's he's got a great great channel he just did a cool cool video on dice history that was pretty neat i like that one i haven't even seen that one it's a dope one you should check it out uh let's see sorry to make it change yeah rough idea not one not one not one videos is saying a rough idea uh started to make make change yeah things just go because like that's like, you know, like anything in life, right? The build is, <laughs> it's never going to quite go how you, how you think, right? All right, cool. So check this out. I've got a little bit of wood grain texture here on, on the side of this, the side of this outhouse. I also have a ton of glue wisps, but that's what I do. Um, so I've got this little corner up here. I think I have a patch idea for that. And then I'm going to try that. So check this out, Chris. Oh, that's cool. Oh, dude. So, not to, like, that's looking great. But, it, like, <laughs> but, <laughs> but you might yeah. want to throw in the trash, Doug. Yeah. Uh, no. I, speaking again of Ardmore Minis, I saw him, because, like, one of the things that I always like, or that, like, I feel like sets off, like, a really good house build from sort of just sort of, like, I don't know. It takes it to the next level. Put it that way. Is like instead of having like one piece, yeah, for the the roofing, it's like what you're doing, kind of where you've split it up into multiple pieces. And what he did was something similar with foam, and he basically cut these like strips. So like each horizontal strip across where there would be the thatching. He did that, and then he ran. He did some like random notches and like uh, cuts and stuff. Okay, but he did all of them identically. He did it like say you need uh, six rows, right? Yep. So he stacked them, did all the cuts the same. It was real fast, real efficient, and then he could like flip um, some of them to offset those cuts and give it more of a random feel and oh, variation. Cool. I can't hear you. Are you just not talking into the mic? No, I'm here. Can you hear me? Yeah, 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 yeah. I saw your mouth moving while you were facing to the side, but I didn't hear anything. I just muted. I'm, I, I've, I've muted you too. I'm not listening to anything that you're saying anymore. So weird that you're responding though. Dang it. Um, I, that's, again, anything that adds like that, it's just, it's those small details that make yeah. that make the difference, and I think that's why I think I like the the hobby so much. Is it's like little things like this, like when you pop that beholder, like you're gonna that that one's gonna go on your store when whoever whatever DM dropped that behold that crazy beholder with a draped hood over its face. As a player, I'm gonna go, man, I'm gonna die right now. I'm gonna die. Like it's. It's, it's wild when you get that piece of, you know, that just that little bit of terrain, like even just like the little bit of scatter terrain that we've used in our, in our sessions, like those cave right. tiles that we've, that we built really way back in. makes the encounters feel yeah. a whole lot more live. It does. It does. Yeah. Yeah. I, I guess like that's, that's, uh, that's definitely... It's definitely a, a big contributing factor to why I like building so much and why I like uh, like the hobby is because you know what it adds to our you know our campaign and our experience. It's not just the fun of the build; it, it then impacts everyone else, and it's a sh again, it's a shared experience, which is pretty dope. Which nobody's getting right now because Which you can't go outside. You can't go shit. outside and do anything, especially for us right now, man. We're West Coast. Yeah, I 
to go back to alone again, like it's it's funny listening to those guys talk about like they're like I love this. This is like what I want to do. I want to live off the land. I want to do it, but I like I would never want to do that by myself. Right. Right. And <laughs> yeah. I don't want, you know, they're like, I don't want to be here anymore. Like, it, like I, I realized, you know, they were, they really realized like not what necessarily they might've been taking for granted, but just truly how much they love the people around them and how important the shared experiences. Yep. It's just funny to be having that, happen. like to have gotten into the show right now at this time of both things. Yep. Yep. It's, it's a, um, I think it, and I, I think it's so interesting too. For those of you that don't know, this uh, alone is a sh- it's a survival uh, reality show that documents ten people that get dumped uh, most often on an island off of Van- in Vancouver, Canada, and Vancouver. they have to like whoever basically stays stays out there the longest uh, wins five hundred thousand dollars, and oftentimes it's all these survival experts, like Chris is saying, and. They, it's not the wilderness that does them in. It's the isolation, that isolation. Yeah. And, you know, again, another reason why, I, dude, I am 1000% feeling that right now. Like being at home, you know, that's like, that's the whole yeah. premise of my world. Theater is a collaborative art form where you meet in a shared space and you bring, you make, you make something from, you bring, you bring a story to life. Yeah. Not unlike what we do in, in our, in our, in our campaigns that we play. So it's interesting to me too, how like there's been a lot of like just shitting on social media in the past decade, you know, and, and it's ramped up more and more as of late, but like you have to hand it to like, I just don't think like older people, older the old people like older people just don't really it's just like they didn't grow up with it they don't understand it right they just kind of write it off and like you know it's not like you can't replace sort of that in-person get together right but it's a close second you know it's fun to get together with people online it's fun to talk it's like fun to share photos and share like what you're working on and like have people you know, come in and see it and talk about it and talk about what they're doing. Yep. And yep. like, I just, can you imagine like a world right now where you couldn't do this? Like you couldn't have this meeting. Dude. You couldn't have, you know, you didn't have Instagram or Facebook. Like, oh, yeah, yeah. Like on, a, on an average day, like I could do without Facebook, but like, right you know, given the setting we're in right now, like not being able to have just like some way to share and talk and chat, like Jesus. It, it would be rough. Super rough. Super rough. And I think, you know, it's a great t- thing too. Like, you know, as a parent, like if you're like looking for stuff to do, like grab, grab that spare stuff. You don't need a cutting mat. You don't need a wire brush you can grab sure. scissors and you can like, I think the ability to just like create something and spend time, like it, it's, yeah. it's a chance to sit down and connect with, with anyone around you, you know, whether that is through a virtual setting, like we've got right now or, yeah. <clears throat> or, you know, in person at home, it's just another way to, to, to kind of forge that connection and, try to not have normal norm normalcy but just like you said the, the just reach out and reaching, talk. reach out and talking yep it's a big one all right so i changed my plan Surprise. <laughs> i i was just like what can i complete a build for so it's like a little wooden lean to alone inspired right like a, like a like you're gonna a have to put some filter. twigs in there to give <laughs> it the log yeah, yeah i'm about to like cap it so we're getting close to the end of of the first uh, the first live stream here. Um, uh, yeah, I think I too. It's been been harder to do that sort of stuff now. Oh man, Jammy Jam is saying, "Yeah, I love theater and acting too, and it's been harder to do that 
uh, sort of stuff now. Oh yeah, <clears throat> it's super, super rough uh, for artists everywhere right now. Um, yeah, you guys have it bad. Yeah, it's it's hard. Um, you know, I think I think the big the big thing for you know that's that's like that is I I don't know if everyone like. <laughs> I mean, I think everyone does relate to it because, you know, think about any time you've been away from, from the people you love, from, uh, from not being able to do the thing you want to do. Right. And I think, you know, artists, like that's what we do. We we're constantly creating, we're constantly trying to find new innovation for, uh, for ourself, um, for the, for the art form. And right now it's, it's, we're not allowed to do it. It's just not safe. And that's, 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 I think what's, you know, so rough for me is theater is a safe space or it, it's, it's not, let's see a safe space, but it's, it's a space where you go and you can always meet and collectively do, just do your work and focus on your craft. And again, work with other people to bring, to bring a story to life. Like theater is, cr the fact that theater even like a show that is actually able to be put on is, is, um, it's amazing. It's, it's always a miracle. And those miracles aren't, aren't in our life right now. They're, we're not able to, to make them. So it's rough. All right. I think I've capped this thing or I'm going to cap it. I'm going to put some glue on here. Oh man. You'll be surprised that this glue gun is still leaking all over the gosh darn place, Chris. Is that the new one, too? Yeah, it's the new one. It's the new one you got me. Sucks. It's the new one you got me. It's pissing me off. Um, okay. Oh, I'm burning myself with hot glue. It's worth it. Worth it! Let's see if I can glue that on there. And then, <laughs> do I leave? I don't know if I leave it. Can I create, like, a little point? I don't know what I'm doing. Maybe I just cut it off. Don't need to get too fancy. I can cut this off. I can fold it down. To like fold, really fold this down. <laughs> there it is. Uh, oh, wait. Should I do like... Maybe I do a little... What's uh? a little lean to thing in the middle. I don't know. Like I'm trying to think like, what does it need? Does it, do I put, do I put this, do I put like a little post, oops, a little post like here. Need some twigs to create the lean to effect. The, the twigs, like, uh, what do you mean? Like lean them where, where are you, where is the lean to? I can't happening? see it. So show me on your other camera. You need one going like, so where the, they come together, you need one like right here. Uh -huh. Like that. And then typically they have a couple more coming down, same direction. And then there's usually two at each end doing that. Oh, I see. I see what Come you're on, saying. Colin, you've been watching along. Yeah, yeah. Well, if it's if it's not a hammock, I don't care. So I don't <laughs> care anymore. I'm I'm forever like I'm not into like building lean to shelters. Just give me a hammock on my trees. With no wind and no mosquitoes, please. And I'll be happy. Yeah. All right. Let's see if I can create this final two, like, little lean-to pieces here. And then we will call it a day. Oh, I know what I'm doing. Oh, look what I'm doing, guys. This is the way to do this. Glue. I don't know why I didn't think about this right now. Because I'm, so I'm, like, talking and enjoying the chat and uh, all the other stuff. Glue. Put it on there. Right? Put it on there like that. And then cut the dark, gosh darn thing off. And then you cut the gosh darn thing off. So I'm going to leave that on there. And then I'm going to put one more bit of glue right here. This is totally like a Charlie Brown tent. I love it. It's like a little, tiny little tent. Okay. Like that. There. Does that work? I don't know. We're about to find out. And then this will take cut and we will cut. Get in 
mess that up. Kind of. That's okay. That's why I put a little bit of more glue. A little more, one more dab of glue right there. Put that. Look. Oh, yes. It's ready. It's ready for season seven of Alone on your tabletop crafting realm. Look at that. Look at that. <sighs> yeah, that's true, Jammy Jam. Like, you bring up a good point. Jammy Jam is talking about artists on YouTube getting a little bit more attention and a little more focus. A lot more attention, I would yeah. say. Yeah. I mean, that's kind of um, – that's one of the benefits, right? And I also um, this is something I think I think you said this for it, um, like seeing the ingenuity that comes out of people uh, during this time, like what inspires artists and like how because you're gonna find a way to create something, right? Um, exactly. I mean, for me, it was like I can't even begin to express like how cool. <laughs> I find the dice making community right now. Oh yes. Like they're just doing insane stuff. Insane stuff. Like it's jewelry level dice making. Yeah. Like they are they're including like, you know, dried plants and all I mean, it's just like it's crazy. Yep. Yep. I mean but the flip side too is that like stuff's getting pretty expensive, you know? <laughs> that is definitely the trade-off it is definitely getting a little bit more expensive um but again there's i don't know the community out there is again it's it's awesome to see what other people are doing i have you watched any of uh the real terrain hobbies videos I've, i like send stuff to the i always send stuff to our D, &D group and i'm always like guys look at this like we're always we're always like constantly sharing stuff with each other and uh, Real Terrain Hobbies is an awesome channel, and he makes some of the most realistic looking like terrain I've ever seen. And his like the way he keeps like pushing and building his stuff is nuts. Like I'm really I'm really enjoying all his builds. Like I'm always like, what? How does he do that? Like that's just it's just I don't know. It's an amazing quality, and I love I love uh, I love the the realism that he brings to all the builds. That being said, there's also, what's the, you're talking about dice. What's the coolest, what's the coolest dice you've seen out there that's being made right now for it? Like, what are you, what are you enjoying? I mean, people are doing all sorts of crazy stuff. Some, some, I've seen some stuff that looks like a damn galaxy. Like it looks <laughs> like you're looking through a telescope at like the Andromeda galaxy. You know what I mean? Like it's got depth. Uh, there's like it just it's amazing and then like you were talking about um i forget who it was that's doing kind of like custom dice kits that were like based on your character or oh, something yeah. like that it's, you were gonna do one for ben dicey Shoot. times dicey times okay. uh, uh yep yep so lots of people like lots of these dice makers do commission-based stuff and they want like they're like you know they they do it on like you know you tell them like oh this is this like my character is this and this is the backstory and, and like they just make like some of the most creative shit like one of them looked like a like an aquarium like it was like you were staring into this like mini terrarium with like plants and and vegetation and Dude, like super rad I mean. I have uh, one of your his friends does resin jewelry. Yeah. And her thing is kind of all about, um, she includes like, a, a, like dried plants and stuff that she finds and all oh, this stuff. Cool. And it looks really cool. Like, I think it looks amazing. And then you go and look at the dice community and they're kind of doing the same thing. Like yeah. they're, 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 you know they're doing these resin cast dice and they can put anything they want in there and so that's what they're doing it's like sky's the limit what do you want to put in here i'm gonna do it and like those swirl dice like were pretty cool that like have include like a liquid core with like glitter in it so when you roll the dice the inside looks like it's still spinning around after the dice has stopped 
And then there's a company, a Kickstarter. I, they seem to be lagging, but there's a Kickstarter called it's like Pixel Dice or something. Yeah, Look that up real quick. They have a complete like their thing is, is like this dice is filled with LEDs, so when you roll it and it lands, <laughs> the side up lights up and like glows oh my and shows God. you your number. Oh my! God. And it's like Bluetooth or US. I think it's Bluetooth connected. Oh crap! So you can kind of like get that going online too. I think. Um, It'll like, you know, they have the virtual dice rollers. What are you doing, kid? <laughs> um, I'm getting ready to go to Ali. Okay, well, I'm still on here, so <laughs> say hi to Colin. Hi, Colin. Hi, Cora. Have fun today. Okay, but, but guess what? I'm going. What? Oh. I'm going to Ellie's. You're going to Ellie's. Have, I know. You'll have fun over there. Yeah. <laughs> this is, I think, the content that your viewers are It is. It Guess is. what? I don't know. Colin? What, what Cora? Hey, I know you're you're excited. And, uh, oh. One more thing. Okay, one more thing. One Colin? More thing. Yes, love. Um, she has a beach house, but I got the beach. Yeah. That is going to be fun. The prep, prep, that's the prep is for the beach houses. You know? Yeah, because we always go out there and play with them. <laughs> yeah. She is like popping through your virtual background, and it's amazing. It's like she's just like peering. <laughs> she's a floating head. She's a floating head. As soon as, as soon as, uh, as soon as he heard his voice or heard her voice, like uh, Ben came running right now too. He's like, oh, well, boom, here, boom. now we've started it. Yep. Okay, kiddo. No, 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 not back there, please. Why don't you, are you going to, are you going to go get dressed? So this came out pretty good. Um, so I'm um, show, showing everyone out there. This is, this is looking pretty good so far. It's got those little lean twos that Fort was talking about. However, I would like, I want to like, I didn't think about the backside here. So like these little backsides, I would want to like texture and like do up a couple little pieces there. And then also on the inside here, now my next step would be, layer in that i would layer in some more some more wood planking on the inside here that'd be pretty cool and then this thing will be dope so what yeah i'll show you chris what i was talking about so like the inside here taking the wood plank and then just layering it down on the inside here too so it's covers up all the cardboard basically that'd be pretty cool boom and now we have little wooden little a little wooden hut a little wooden lean-to, not a hut. You could put a topper if you built something else too. You could put this on a top as a topper, and, and uh, add it to something else if you wanted to. And a little little build stack. So like have multiple scatter terrain. That's kind of a cool idea. Like, can you um, uh, what what scatter terrain can you build that's like uh, allows you to just like pull it apart and use it for something completely different but then when you bring it together it creates something that's pretty cool voltron yeah what? like voltron it's exactly create the voltron uh, it's like voltron setup windmill activate uh no i don't craft jammy jam you don't craft um but i do some filming for nat one. Oh, nice that's cool you you help you help uh you help nat one out for the videos um floating head D&D &D style yes yes um, dude, that's cool. Look well, like much right now, but oh, it's someone's... looking good. Oh, dude, look at that thing. If you guys check out, check out. Oh, uh, let's go. Check out Fort's thing. Bring it a little closer to the camera there. It never looks good at this stage. It always just looks like very flat, and I am pretty uh, free with my base coating so there's some stuff i gotta touch up too well so. it's you know it's the initial base coating but the thing the texture you got on on that on that cowl for for the beholder looks dope yeah can you show show off the arrow there show off that arrow that arrow is dope it's not i mean it's right here i still need to get green stuff on the, the point and the kind of that what is that fletching is that what they call it yeah it's the fletching uh, yeah 
And then I don't know if he can you raise it up. Does he have a scar on the eye too? Does the beholder have yeah, a scar? It's hard to there see you go. The light it's better started. when you shifted it up. Yeah, uh-huh. there you go. It's a little better. I haven't even painted the eye, so that's got some some stuff to do too. I've yeah. got to figure out. I've got to get a better handle on this thing. Yeah. Everyone, the, I, I need to figure out a way to make the video pictures a little bit bigger next time uh, so I can showcase it a little bit big, uh, better for everyone. I'll fix that next time, guys. Um, but it's pretty dope. Uh, yeah, that's, that's that's pretty good. We So I did – my house – Turned into a little lean-to. Inspired. That looks like uh, the symbol for like, <laughs> what is that? It's like, God, what is it? KOA? Yeah, it's like it's, one of the like it, camping it groups. It is the KOA. <laughs> it's the KOA campground. <laughs> it's the KOA campground. I have successfully created the symbol from my childhood. Awesome. There you go. From traveling around. Uh, well, this, is, this has been awesome, man. Like. <laughs> Thank you, thank you so much, Chris, for for joining uh, joining uh, me and everyone else today. Um, the yeah, this, thanks for having me, man. Dude, I, this uh, I know that you probably have stuff you're critiquing, but I thought it was a lot of fun and it went pretty well. Like, thanks, I man. I didn't exactly plan out what I would care for. Care for. Got my kid here again. He just uh, <laughs> really wants to. In the video, yeah. um, no, it's fun. I would do this again. I had a great time. Sweet. It's nice. To, hey, stop. Dude. Come on. It's nice to just be able to paint. Craft. So I could see this going on and more people joining. Yeah. I have to wait. Cool. Yeah. See what I'm I think. I think so too. And I think. Um, I think. I think. Uh, I, I'm hoping. You know as as you know we spread spread the word like it's just something that's happening because i see people someone last night was live streaming their fit on facebook just their build and i was like that's super cool i think more and more of that is not gonna finding be. ways to share yeah finding ways to share for sure for sure it's definitely cool to to hang out and thank you to all of you guys that joined the first live stream that's pretty like it's dope thank you so much nat one videos i know you brought friends today. Like, it's super dope, man. I really appreciate that support uh, from you guys and everyone else that stopped by to say hello and see see what was going on. Even if you're not crafting anything, even if you're not building anything, just to, like, hang out, like, check in. It's a great time to check in uh, and say say hi. Uh, love love hearing from y'all. What, so. is, uh, what is Not One Videos? Is it just Not One Video on Instagram? Yeah, Not One Videos on Instagram. That's right. That's right. So... Uh, definitely check his stuff out. Check out his YouTube channel out uh, as well. Um, definitely, definitely more to come. Um, we'll we'll be we'll be doing this every week. Hopefully, is the plan every Sunday for now for for a while. So uh, we'll definitely definitely get some more folks on here, and we'll see what we <laughs> maybe I'll actually build a house next week. Maybe I will actually you know uh, build my. It went from a house to a porta potty to the lean to koa lean to so there we go um if you haven't visited um chris on instagram be sure to follow him on instagram might and magic brand um be sure to follow me on instagram crazy crafter xps on instagram uh subscribe to the channel if you like the content uh, i believe the video button subscribe button's right there click that uh that uh, subscribe button turn that bell on and then if you also lastly if you haven't visited i know we've been talking about a lot of cool vendors today but i definitely wanted to feature Feature Chris's Etsy store today. Check out Mike Magic Brand. He's got everything from uh, some really awesome minis, uh, but he's also got the dopest D and D shirts that I've ever come across. Um, so they're they're a lot of fun. Uh, I'll have to wear next week. It's not a it's not on the Etsy store. Uh, I'll have to I'll have to sport the Stony Tankard shirt next week uh, for for the build. Chris built. Yeah, you needed that draped in your background right now. I know. I, I know. I, that's totally. It's totally gonna. I need to figure out. Like, I need to get the C stands to like hang it. Uh, the Stony Tanker. So Fort, being an amazing graphic designer for our one year anniversary for our D and D campaign, like everyone gifted each other stuff. Like at Christmas, one of our players made like like ta- like had a buddy 
uh, who is an artist and like sculptor and like created these awesome cra handcrafted mugs that we like drink with. Gave us like dragon themed coasters based on our characters. Uh, everyone gave everyone a bunch of stuff. And one of the things that Fort did was create a shirt for our in our campaign. We ended up buying and investing uh, in a bar in the ta in our in East Anchor. If Richard's and, listening right now. We still haven't collected any gold on that. Yeah, place, we gotta so. like collect some gold. I mean, we're too busy trying to save the world, so. Uh, like sometimes you gotta stop. Sometimes you gotta, sometimes you gotta <laughs> fill up the gold per the pouch. Um, but we we bought this old kind of tavern uh, called the Stony Tankard, and it has it's it's the tankard. Remind refresh my memory, Chris. It's like it's a stone tankard that you can't like you. It's impossible to lift. It's right? a magical tankard a magical that tankard. looked like made of stone. <laughs> yeah. that I don't remember if you had to activate it somehow, but basically you couldn't lift it right. unless there was a way you could lift it. So we decided to make that the theme of our bar. Oh, wow. Like that was the draw. Come in and if you can lift this tankard of beer, then you get to drink for free or something like that. Oh, yeah. So. Oh, yeah. I I definitely, I definitely uh, uh, love love that design. It's one of my favorite designs. So he made he made this design... Uh, and you'll see it if you go back to my first video, um, my first couple of videos before I moved the studio inside the garage, which is now moved back to my in-house because of the fires. Um, in the background, you'll see a tapestry that hangs there, and that is the Stony Tankard banner. Uh, we need to make it a flag. I've kind of thought like it needs to be a flag. So it needs to be one of those like what do they call it? Like a standard where it's like a battle flag. Oh, it like drapes oh, down yes. like a pole. Yes. Yes, we need a standard. We need to fly the banner. The banner. That's next level, Colin. <laughs> um, uh, Jammy Jam. Uh, yes, uh, Jammy Jam's asking would I be interested in doing a podcast? Uh, man, I haven't thought about that. That'd be that'd be cool. That sounds like that sounds great because that means I get to buy more cool stuff for 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 for, for this. Uh, I don't know. I'm. 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 Uh, I'll have to chat more about that. I'm. I'm. I'm always open for for new ideas. Um, and I think. I think. Uh, you know, podcasting would be would be pretty cool as well. Uh, yeah. Sweet. Thank you, Chris. Thank you for oh, for for you. hanging out, man. Uh, always Appreciate always you, a joy. And then, um, thank you everyone for for joining us today. And we'll see you next Sunday at 10 a.m. for for more for more crafting. All right, till then, be well, stay healthy, stay safe, and we'll see you all next time. Cheers, y'all.